Americans are raised in a variety of environments. These environments shape their political attitudes and beliefs. There are many significant circumstances that divide our political views. Some of these include gender, age, education, and religion. I would like to explore this by interviewing subjects within these groups on hot button topics. Let's start with gender. Gender has an effect on someone's political views. For example, women tend to oppose violence, such as capital punishment and military force abroad, more often than men do. Let's see if these subjects hold true to this theory. Opposed to our involvement in the war in the Middle East, we've lost so many lives of our young people, and I don't think it's worth the cost for what gains we're making there. As a veteran of the United States Marine Corps Infantry, I fully support the United States presence in the Middle East. Regardless of intentions, it is in the nation's best interest to complete the mission we began, to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy by fire and maneuver, and to repel the enemy assault by fire and close combat. Goodbye, my friend! Goodbye, my love, you're in my heart! I don't believe we should take the lives of any citizens, no matter what they've done, and I think we're safe with them in jail. I'm for the death penalty, but I feel that they should be able to choose between the life sentence or accepting the death penalty. Now let's look at age. It is believed that younger citizens are less likely to identify with the political party. It is also believed that young adults between the ages of 18 and 29 typically support government-sponsored universal health insurance and the legalization of gay marriage. Let's find out what this group of people have to say about this. I consider myself unaffiliated with any political party. I don't identify myself with any political party because I don't know that much about politics. I'm a Republican. I don't really care about gay marriage. I'm not really for or against it. I don't really think it's a big deal with civil unions. I don't know that much about um, government-run health care. So, I don't really have an opinion on that. Okay. Uh, my opinion on the uh, Obamacare, the, the universal health care, I don't believe it's going to work. I think it's going to be a financial fiasco. Education is generally the strongest predictor of a citizen's participation in politics. The more educated citizens tend to be, the more involved they are in politics and have a better understanding of the issues. Let's see if this su these subjects hold true to this theory. is a four-year degree, a bachelor's of science in microbiology. My highest level of education is a Juris Doctor degree, and I am a practicing attorney. I am involved in one political action committee, and it is supported through my work, and we are lobbying for laws that will remain favorable to pharmaceutical development, to keeping industries within the United States, um, laws that are favorable to intellectual property and research and development. I'm loosely associated with the Campaign for Liberty. I vote in every election, the national as well as the locals. I vote in the general and primary elections, typically during the uh, four-year election cycle, and we'll vote typically in the two-year congressional cyclical election. Lastly, religion may be a strong indicator on where a person stands politically. Religious U.S. citizens are split between Democrats and Republicans evenly, yet non-religious citizens are strongly Democratic. Let's see how religion affects these subjects' political beliefs. Found God on the corner of first and I'm a star. Yes, I am a religious person. I am a Catholic. I'm very active in my faith. Yes, I'm a Christian and I go to church every Sunday and I'm going to Bible University next semester. I support religious beliefs. I myself, I don't think I guess I do or I would have converted to Catholicism when I married my husband. Jesus Christ, that's a pretty face. Can you find someone that could... 
my religious views do directly affect my political attitudes. Um, I live in line with the teachings of the church, and I vote likewise. And I vote for policies that support the teachings of the church. Um, well, I vote based on what I believe is morally right and true, and I would consider myself a conservative person. So each day. It does not affect it at all. We now have discussed some different ways in which American citizens differ. We spoke about gender, age, education, and religion, and saw how these categories may influence the way Americans view politics and how they shape their beliefs. We have now discussed some differences in which American citizens differ. We now yes, I am a religious person. <laughs> I can't do this. Mm -hmm. I can't do it without laughing. Somebody has to ask the question. <laughs> the end.